DMI was founded by Perry Rourke, James Sweeney, and Brian Jordan in the late 1990s in the Maryland Department of Corrections. Rourke was a close associate of the Black Gorilla family and received permission from them to start an organization to unite white inmates in the system. The group grew in size quickly due to infiltration by a man named Michael Quinn, who had joined to secure protection for himself. He recruited anybody who wanted to join in every location. Sweeney sought numbers as opposed to quality as he felt secure with numbers and thought numbers brought strength. Like the BGF, the organization adapted a political ideology. Dead Man Incorporated is said to be anti-government, anti-religion, and against superstition, inspired by the Bavarian Illuminati. Members often refer to each other as dogs, an acronym meaning DMI against world government. Tattoos include the Grim Reaper, Pit Bulls, DMI, the numbers 4, 13, and 9, 4 equals D, 13 equals M, 9 equals I, and the pyramid with a severed eye of providence citation needed the mark of the dead man, an upside-down cross for either stabbing or killing multiple people in the Maryland correctional system. Skull tattoos with the eyes inked in red also identify a killer. These tattoos are worn strictly by OG members typically in high-ranking status. Any member with red-eyed skulls in a visible area, typically on the forearms or hands, denotes they killed a very high-ranking member of a rival gang or a staff member of the prison system. Although members usually don't fly collars, some have recently when, started to wear black and white bandanas in their left pocket initially, DMI worked for the BGF, but soon began offering those services to other gangs by targeting rivals and correctional staff. This led to entry into drug trafficking and other crimes to advance their own agendas as their size and power increased. The once tight-knit structure of the group has broken down with the explosion in numbers, as members compete with one another leading to violence between members. Fueling these internal divisions is the fact that leaders disagreed about the direction of the gang. Perry Rourke wanted to return the gang to its former position alongside the BGF, while other leaders like James Sweeney, want to adopt a white supremacist ideology. A federal grand jury in Baltimore has charged 22 defendants with conspiracy to participate in a violent racketeering enterprise. All but one defendant are also charged with conspiring to distribute drugs. The indictment was returned on October 6, 2011 and unsealed upon the arrests of seven defendants and the execution of seven search warrants. Eleven defendants were previously in custody and four defendants are still at large three. The highly secret organization has began to recruit members on the streets of Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and AA County. Moving operations into small communities like Dundalk and Essex, MD, and taking advantage of the drug trade and murder for hire business where they are employed by other gangs for protection and hits. Perry Rourke was scheduled to be released from state prison but instead he will spend the rest of his life in federal prison for leading the violent dead man incorporated gang and arranging murders, said U.S. Attorney Rod J. Rosenstein. Federal racketeering prosecutions serve a critical role in the coordinated local, state and federal law enforcement strategy to reduce violent crime in Maryland. According to Rourke's plea agreement, DMI was created originally in 2000 as a prison gang in Maryland, and at its inception was closely allied to the Black Gorilla family, BGF, another prison gang. By 2006, DMI expanded its membership by recruiting members outside prison, including women. DMI members operated in and out of prisons throughout Maryland, as well as Pennsylvania, Louisiana, and Texas. DMI is active in numerous prison facilities in Maryland. Units operating outside the prisons are identified by the region they cover, such as Brooklyn, South Baltimore, Southwest Baltimore, Southeast Baltimore, Dundalk, Westminster, Glen Burnie, etc. Rourke admitted that he conspired to conduct the affairs of DMI through a pattern of criminal activity from 2000 to the present, including murder and threats to commit murder, armed robbery, drug trafficking and extortion. DMI members and associates smuggled drugs, tobacco, cell phones and other contraband into prisons, by concealing them on the persons of visitors to the prisons. Gang members used contraband cell phones in prisons to coordinate the smuggling of contraband into prisons, disseminate information about arrests and releases of members and associates, to warn of investigations, to publicize the identities of persons believed to be cooperating with law enforcement, and to order assaults and murders of such persons, as well as enemies of DMI.
Specifically, Rourke admitted that from November 2008 through June 2, 2009, he ordered and planned the June 2, 2009, murder of Tony Geiger, which was carried out by his co-defendants. Rourke admitted that he ordered three other murders, which were never carried out, as well as numerous assaults. Rourke was frequently involved in drug trafficking within the prisons where he was housed from 2000 to the present.